All right, test, 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 test. <clears throat> Making the news now. Now, first of all, we talked about this a couple weeks ago because Velma, the character, there was a video game where Velma uh, could call the police on characters in the game. So our story a couple of weeks ago, we mentioned that Velma was calling the cops on any character in the video game, including black characters. And some people didn't like the fact that she was calling the police in a video game on black characters. So they changed the the video game itself. So Velma continues to make the news and there's a new Scooby-Doo movie coming out and Velma apparently is interested in another female character, not Daphne, nothing like that. Um, but just another female character in the movie. So now it appears that Velma is gay or bisexual or something along that line. So I think even now during pride Month. You could pull up Velma. If you search Velma on Google or something like that, it showers the screen with pride flags and that type of thing that, that apparently Velma is now gay. So they continue to, in the, uh, the various comic and fictional characters, uh, more are coming out as gay or bisexual. We've talked about prior episodes, too, that... The, one of the Robins and Batman and Robin has come out as bisexual. Superman's son is bisexual in the comics. Wonder Woman, even, uh, in different storylines, is, is now I've got at a least quick bisexual. I, I, I hate to interrupt. I never do. That's it, all right. But, Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> Superman's son, it, mm -hmm. is he? would he be considered a super bottom or a power bottom? <laughs> I don't know. You have to read the storyline, I guess. Fair enough. All right. Read the storyline. So anyway, that's it. So I, I have my own opinion here, but what do you think, Dean, of, of Velma coming out, apparently, as okay. gay well, in this new Scooby-Doo movie? First of all, this is my <clears throat> shock face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, even from the 1960s, 70s, did... Didn't you just assume that was the deal? That, that was, 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 you know, was part of the LGBTQ community? I mean, again, uh, okay, that, first off, I am, I, I like the idea that they did it. I mean, mm -hmm. the writers and creators or you know, not creators, but you know, writers and directors, whatever, um, are just willing to just go with the times and not only just the times, but like, of course, I mean, the characters seem to be in that vein in general. Mm -hmm. so why not, <clears throat> you know, lean into it. Um, it's, it's not a stretch. It's not taboo anymore. I don't right. know what the big deal is. Yeah. I mean, the only thing, the, the the best thing that you got is, you know, in the you know they cut from one scene to the next. You know where the where they uh, the Scooby and Shaggy are, you know, eating Scooby snacks and getting high and whatever. You already in, you know, weed's already been introduced. You can mm -hmm. cut to the next uh scene and 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 you see Delma <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm I'm with if you, you want to get that joke, watch the YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. Yes. There you go. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't I don't really care. It's fine. It's like some people Good for are them. Like, you you can't possibly change this character and it's, it's like I, I don't care change it it's always I been that way they just didn't well, say it that's what some people argue as well that there was always been that those those thoughts and it, you know i we talked about this on a came in from gen x podcast this week too but my, my take basically is who cares it's, it's, a, it's a fictional character and if there's a kid out there and that's again that's that's my perspective right i said the same thing on the other show if there's a kid out there to where that it if if you're feeling any apprehension or any which way that you're 
not maybe comfortable with your feelings of your sexuality, right? If a character that you know that's very popular comes out and says, you know, I'm gay, if if it helps a kid or a young person feel a little bit differently Absolutely. and more comfortable, who gives who cares? Who cares? That's fine. It's fine. And again, and it's a, a fictional it's a fictional character anyways. At the end and of the day. Big fuck you to anybody <clears throat> who sits around and sees that a cartoon character <laughs> might be um attracted to the opposite sex of another inked exactly cartoon character. Right. It's all fantasy anyway. Get a fucking life. Right. Right. I, I just, a lot of news. It's, it's huge news right now. Huge. I, about it, it makes no sense. It's and everything. We have yeah. come so far as a society, Brian. Um, we we we've, we've come leaps and bounds, honestly. Right. But we're still <clears throat> not even close to where we should be because there are some close-minded, half-wit dipshits out there mm-hmm. that that think this is a fucking issue. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Good lord, why can't Okay, let me let me put this. I'm gonna get on my soapbox. Here, here, like, here, step up here. Okay, I'm on my soapbox. All right, and it, this will be very fucking quick. But Brian, I want you to know that when nobody's around, when nobody's looking, mm-hmm. I like to eat muddy bears. Muddy bears are gummy bears dipped in chocolate. Mm-hmm. Not many people knew that about me. But it's a fact. Are you going to judge me? What I do when nobody's around? Have you ever seen me eat a muddy bear? No. Has that person ever seen me eat a muddy bear? No. You kind of want to now. (laughs) Well, it's safe for the Patreon. (laughs) The idea is that, like, shit that anybody does behind closed doors is nobody's goddamn business. We're in the 21st century. Fuck it. Even that, even that sentence I said right there might be closed-minded. Maybe it's, fuck, what we do in front of doors, if I want to, 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 to grab the face of a, of, of a man or woman that I love and kiss them passionately because that's how I feel about that other human being, mm-hmm. who in the fuck, given... That they can see it, don't see it, or it's a fucking video game. What is it their business? It's it's mind blowing that we're in twenty first century and there are some closed minded shits with that mindset. It I, it boggles the mind. I I will it, never understand it. It is bewildering. Like like I said, this is national news. There's people it, on, and that's stupid. That it is. Yeah, it is. It, it really is stupid. Yep, I'm with you, man. Yeah, it's 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 just dumb. It, 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 but the good thing is, the younger people today, younger people, are more and more accepting, accepting and tolerant. So the future, sure, in many respects, looks bright. In many respects, so some of these, some of these kids, yeah, assume leadership is anyway. It, it, the future looks good, and it'd be we more hope and more. Yeah, we hope so. But anyways, like you say, at the end of the day, it's cartoon character. Get over yourself and. Relax, right. everybody. My think about your goddamn business. That's right. Think about how it impacts young people who are who are uh, looking for acceptance and tolerance and so forth. All right. So enough of that. Hey, did you like that video? You know you did, and we know you did. So stop screwing around and go like that video. Subscribe to our channel and join us for some more. Thank you.